He did it. He really did it. Elon Musk bought Twitter for $44 billion and they actually said yes. Sure, Elon. Here you go. Basically, everyone online thought he was joking or that he wasn't serious, but anyone who's not naive knows he's a f***ing meme lord. He memed us so hard that he brought Dogecoin up to a dollar or whatever and then immediately tanked it. He outdid us all. He got us. That was the meme. If you don't know what relationship one of the richest men in the world has with bird app, Twitter. This dude loves Twitter. Elon is known for tweeting song lyrics like a 14 year old girl, spaceships, and boomer memes because of course he's he's that the age where you're indoctrinated into reposting boomer memes. It's the natural course of life. It's the circle of life, if you will. So now that Elon Musk is the father of Twitter, I want to go over what he says he wants to do with the platform because he's he's got some changes in mind. He's not just buying it to have it in his arsenal of sh he owns. He's not Disney trying to milk Star Wars every three years with a sh ass movie, although I will take Adam Driver. He's got some changes he wants to make and he's let everyone know what he wants to do with it. But I wanna make the case that he should use his power to get rid of the app completely instead of making it better because I think it's too far to be fixed. Before we go any further, one of you in my comments, you know who you are, keeps complaining that my Inuyasha doll is no longer in view. Is this? Oh, sh Is this a fire hazard? There. There we go. You happy now? Inuyasha himself advocates for de deleting Twitter, so please thumbs up, give me five stars on Yelp, and subscribe. Welcome gatekeepers to another video. <laughs> I guess we're the Gabby Bell gatekeepers now. You know, when I was a, a little baby content creator, I still am, but when I was a little infant little baby, I always dreamt of what my fan base would be called. Would we be called the little stinkers? or the Greggs or strugglers perhaps but I wanted to let it come naturally that's what she said I'm literally 12 years old and I think the Gabby gatekeepers <laughs> I think it's just gonna stick from now on so when this whole deal went down hashtag leaving Twitter was trending on Twitter because of course but maybe this is a blessing in disguise because holy sh I haven't seen memes this cringy in a very long time I will not be hashtag leaving Twitter dot 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 who with me. This in itself is a little cringe to be posting regardless, but the reply makes it even better. I'm not leaving Twitter. I mean, it sucks, but we are smart, wise, compassionate people with lives and purpose. We show the world with light that anything can be accomplished with love and compassion. We will not let anyone overshadow our lives. That's a great superhero monologue there, but I hate to tell it to you, it's not that deep. And also people on Twitter are not very smart, wise, and compassionate, so I don't, I don't know who you're referring to when you say we. You know, hashtag leaving Twitter might lead to a happier and more more peaceful life. And you know, this statement I don't really disagree with, of course. I do think leaving Twitter might lead to a happier and more peaceful life. But the rest of the tweet is a little bit of, um, your age is showing, Bob. Hashtag Tuesday vibe. Ed, how many times have I asked you not to post your political opinions online? <laughs> this one really gives me a hoot and a holler. Get it? Because their door, uh, they're, it's like they're being attacked. They're being attacked online. So there's a bunch of weapons stuck in the door because he posted his political opinion online. But it's okay because we have our Twitter vigilante saying, Grandpa, it's time for you to chill since it's your end game now. Holy shit. That's like so aggressively mean. You're gonna die soon, Grandpa. F you. That's literally Twitter. Breaking news, newspaper emoji. Bill Gates has been suspended by Twitter and Donald Trump is back, space, exclamation point, exclamation points. If you put two exclamation points after your sentence, you are a psychopath. It's one or three, three or bust, okay? Or you put a bunch of them at the end. Also, don't put a space in between the punctuation. And then he goes, where all the crybabies? Hashtag leaving Twitter. Now this teehee my face when I spread misinformation tweet is fine within itself. It's a, it's a bit silly for sure, but they added photos to, to back up their claims. I don't know why this needed like a meme format. You didn't really didn't have to go this hard to make a joke, but there's a fake photo of Bill Gates' Twitter getting suspended and then a fake photo of Trump putting 
having a Twitter Medal of Honor around Elon's face, which is just so weird. This is so weird, man. Sorry, buddy. There we go. Send us a postcard when you're done. Hashtag leaving Twitter. Cry me a river. This dude is definitely 40 years old. Like 40 years old exactly. Not any younger, not any older. Specifically 40 years old. And they added this photo of this really funny meme. So funny, dude. So funny. This next one accounts for a lot of the ones I've seen. The one man standing up for truth, justice, and the American way. Hashtag free speech wins. Hashtag leaving Twitter. And of course they added a meme. The first victim of war and the only man taking a stand. Wow, this is so dramatic. So here we have a bunch of media outlets pointing their killing sticks at Elon with his face superimposed on Superman. And it seems like he's protecting a young lady labeled truth. Like, because all these political cartoons have to label everything. <laughs> this lady is supposed to represent truth, if you didn't know. Elon's protecting the truth and he's protecting free speech. I brought this meme up because this is one thing I don't know why free speech has become a weapon for like conservatives on Twitter rallying for Elon. The world is so weird. These two fan bases collide. Elon Musk fans and America stands. I don't know. The, the conservative party stands, you know, posting fan cams of their idols. I can put you in first class up in the sky. I could put you in first class. And I think this free speech thing comes from Elon tweeting what he wants to do to change Twitter. And because Elon has tweeted many times about how Twitter doesn't have free speech, I don't know about you, but I've seen some pretty dumb shit on Twitter. I would say free speech is alive and well. But people have used this into anti-leftist propaganda, which is so crazy. Because like, number one, free speech is still here on Twitter. Log on your timeline right now, you'll see the dumbest opinion you've ever ever heard and wonder why they're still existing on the platform. Two, free speech doesn't apply to a company, I guess? Free speech is the first amendment of the government of the United States, and free speech refers to the government can't, like, arrest you for saying that Trump is stupid and please delete Twitter, Elon, please. The government can't arrest me or punish me for that. That's what the law is for. Free speech doesn't automatically mean you're protected from other people saying you're stupid when you say something stupid. People will have a dumbass opinion and then other people will react to that opinion negatively and the original person will say they don't have free speech anymore. You can't say anything anymore. What about my free speech? Hey, hey, a punto e basta. I'm walking here. Happens every time. And also just a regular ass company can do whatever they want with their product. If Twitter doesn't want Trump on there, they're allowed to do that. If Twitter didn't want Biden on there, they're allowed to take him off. People would be pissed, yeah, but they're allowed to do that. It's not a crime. It's not against the law. But Elon does clarify about what he means by wanting free speech on the platform, and he does clarify that by free speech, I simply mean that which matches the law. I am against censorship that goes far beyond the law. If people want less free speech, they will ask government to pass laws to that effect. Therefore, going beyond the law is contrary to the will of the people. It's just Twitter, man. It's no one's getting arrested arrested. <laughs> So I think what I'm getting from this, what I'm interpreting, is that Elon wants to make Twitter's version of free speech more match the US law, which he's allowed to do now that he owns the app. It's just the whole discourse around it is so silly. Here's a good one. Hashtag leaving Twitter is trending. The radical left cannot win arguments unless its opponents are gagged and silenced, period. Hashtag cancel culture, hashtag Twitter canceled. How did this turn political? A rich guy bought Twitter. How did this get political? This is why I hate the app. If you've seen, shout out to Kunk and Dasner's video on Twitter loves missing the point entirely because wow, if that's not one of the best examples of that, I don't know what is. Also gagged and silenced, at least take me out to dinner first. The best memes so far. Hashtag Elon Musk, hashtag Twitter, hashtag Twitter CEO, hashtag leaving Twitter. I don't know if we needed that much context, but thank you. Gray person is getting free speech. As they are getting the free speech, Twitter is weirdly approaching them from behind. Then behind Twitter, Elon Musk is is there. How menacing. This is like a 500 IQ meme. 
Thank you. So I know it's not brave to say that Twitter is the worst app, although I think a strong argument can be made for Snapchat, what the fuck is happening over there? But I wanna quickly state why I don't really like the app, because I know some of you do, I guess. It is a cesspool for negativity. The algorithm feeds off of rage clicks and negativity and terrible opinions because people will click on it and go through the replies. And when you click it and go through the replies, you'll see even worse things being said. And it spirals and spirals and spirals because the Twitter algorithm is like, hey, they like this kind of shitty ass content. Let's give them more of it. Let's give them more rage baiting. What else will they click on? So not only that, but like stupid topics will get trending with like 10 tweets from the town over. Hey, wanna see spoilers for the show you're watching? Are you sure? Every time I log on, Inuyasha is trending with like a hundred tweets worldwide. Probably spoiling the sequel Yashihime that I'm watching. Like fuck. Thirdly, Twitter is information overload. If you're like me and you have anxiety already, ADHD or, or something else that has your cup always full up to here with your brain activity, going on Twitter is like pouring an entire container of rainbow sprinkles all over it and, and making it pour over. And then you gotta clean up the sprinkles one by one. You keep scrolling to see 400 different people's 400 different opinions on things within like 15 minutes of scrolling right when you wake up. Especially while you're alone, you're by yourself and you go online and you see 400 different people's opinions. Shit, man, I don't care. But for some reason, the little serotonin in my brain says that I do. You are not supposed to be taking in that much information at once. If you're not overloaded by the negativity on Twitter, then your brain is overloaded by the amount of information you're getting at once and it exhausts your brain. I would argue more than Instagram. I have formed mutual connections on Twitter. I've been reached out to to collab on Twitter, but honestly the negatives highly outweigh the positives for me on Twitter and it's okay to disconnect from a shitty ass app. All right, so I have boiled down this list for you of everything that Elon wants to do on Twitter now that he owns it. Basically, he has stated that he wants to buckle down on spam and bot accounts. He wants more free speech closer to the law, whatever that means. Other things Elon wants to do is create an edit button for Twitter users. We already have that on YouTube and it hasn't caused that much of an issue that people are saying it will cause on Twitter, so we'll see. Maybe if you can see the edit history, that might be a good compromise. He also wants to make Twitter's algorithm open source. Okay. And he also wants Twitter to not be reliant on advertising revenue because that's where 90% of the revenue comes from right now. He wants to move to more of a subscription base and we all use Twitter blue, right? So if we have to start paying for Twitter, I'm sure he knows that everyone will leave. So I don't think that he'll actually do that. Knock on wood though, I guess. And he also wants to make the company private. I haven't mentioned this yet. So Twitter right now is a public company. It's publicly traded. You can go and buy stock for Twitter dot com. But when Elon privatizes Twitter, this means that you can no longer buy stock for Twitter and any decision that Elon makes in the company, he won't have to refer to the board of trustees or directors or whatever they, they call it. The probably old white people that have a say in what Elon should do with Twitter. So he doesn't have to answer to anyone like that. He doesn't have to answer to anyone who owns part of the company for, through shares. He doesn't have to answer to anyone like that. He has full control over Twitter when he privatizes that company. That's what that means. I'm probably oversimplifying it. So I know I'm gonna get like a four paragraph essay in the YouTube comments in MLA format explaining how I actually graduated with a BA in accounting and financial management. And actually, this is how it works. I can't believe you've boiled it down. That you're literally so stupid. <laughs> If you ask my opinion on it, I highly doubt that Elon's gonna do anything crazy with Twitter that isn't already terrible about the app because the owner of Twitter does have an effect on how Twitter is run. I mean, we have NFT profile pictures, for example, because Jack Dorsey's like into that sh It Not just because there's a high amount of crypto influencers on, on Twitter. If anything, that sh being pushed because the owner, owner likes it. So maybe we'll see a booming space community on Twitter. I don't know. Elon Musk says, according to this TED Talk, TED Conference, he said, this is from NPR, Musk has argued that social networks should not remove comments that, while offensive, are still legal. During a recent interview at a TED conference, he said, if it's a gray area, let the tweet exist. Elon, it already does. So those are the facts, I think. I don't want to just completely shit on Twitter today, even though that's what 90% of this video is, because you'll also get banger tweets like these. The fucking O'Reilly 
Miley auto parts <laughs> can cheat music. That's great. This person says, I'm high. Yes, but you're not gonna tell me this faucet doesn't look like that squirrel from Ice Age. It really does. And that blew my mind. <laughs> this is good Twitter. It, you know, the, the good Reddit Twitter account? This is good Twitter. And like this, this one tweet from Nintendo of America. Can you imagine addressing an entire fan base of Nintendo fans from the official Nintendo of America Twitter account? saying, this is Miyamoto. After consulting with Chris Sun, my partner at Illumination on the Super Mario Bros. film, we've decided to move the global release to spring 2023 and April 7th, 2023 in North America. My deepest apologies, but I promise you it'll be well worth the wait. I won't get to see Chris Pratt as Mario until next year now. Damn. I just thought this is Miyamoto is so funny. And you'll also get the three tweets a month where Keemstar makes an on-brand awful take and gets ratioed by someone who sits in their chair like L from Death Note. I'm of course talking about XQC. I've heavily curated my Twitter feed so much. It took so much effort, way more effort than curating my Instagram feed because Twitter will do everything in its power to piss you the f off in the name of engagement. Engagement. With Instagram, you can just follow cute animal and fan art accounts, and that's at least all that my feed will be. Twitter, on the other hand, will try to shove the most rancid opinions from someone with an anime profile picture down my throat in order to specifically piss you off. But I finally achieved world peace on my timeline, so I'll share with you the accounts that helped me get there. Does this form of media contain Wario? I would rate this account a 4 out of 5. I would say it's pretty great. We love Love some good Wario memes, very solid content there. We also have musical instruments with chaotic auras. That's that's another good one. Images that precede unfortunate events. I'd probably give this one a, a three out of five. It's it's pretty good. It'll help you start your world peace timeline journey. We have origins of iconic images. Um, I don't really get half the references on this page, but I will will giggle at the ones that I do. It's it's a little abstract. I would maybe give this also a, a 3.5 out of five. One of my favorites coming in here is the Tommy Wiseau official Twitter account. Tommy Wiseau is the creator, star, director, producer, everything for the hit movie, The Room. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. It's it's a little bit of a, a niche cult classic, so. Tommy Wiseau will post the same selfie like three days in a row with a different caption every time. And it's amazing. I love it. Five out of five for Tommy Wiseau's Twitter account. Highly recommend. This one's another one of my favorites. Ancient memes. These always make me laugh. They're so good. It just brings me back to a simpler time and I can giggle at these with the knowledge that I'm only laughing at them ironically, not unironically, because they're cringe. Ancient ancient memes. I just like looking at them and laughing at Am I cringe? Another good one is Pikachu stole my credit card and called me a B-word. They usually post some pretty wholesome Pikachu content over there, so it's four out of five. Four out of five. Solid. Only flans. Uh, two out of five. It can get a little repetitive after a while, but such is the name. And the last one I like is Out of Context Pokemon. Five out of five. No doubt about it. So there you have it. I hope you live, love, laugh. <laughs> in this video and make sure you subscribe so you can also become a Gabby Bell gatekeeper become a gatekeeper before 30k Then you can say you were here before 30k even if it was at 29. I still got you and this video is sponsored by my patrons